Hey, what's up guys? It's Bart with Yeti Service Management Systems. Thanks a lot for clicking on the demo link. We appreciate it. If you've gotten to this point, you are acknowledging that you have some sort of an issue that you need to resolve. So maybe you have currently just used pen and paper to data log all of your records and you kind of outgrown that model. Um, maybe you've got drivers who you need to track and you just have no idea where they are. Or this is another pretty common one. You're not happy with the current software that you're using, or maybe the drivers that you have are not using the app that you need them to be using. So I'm going to go through today what we offer um, and some of the features that will be included. So we'll take a look at the dispatch screen, which is where you're going to see all your drivers, all of your operators, and you'll be able to tell what they're doing, when they're doing it, and exactly where they are at any given time. Uh, we'll be doing some route building, so I'll show you how to put all of your sites into routes so you don't have to worry about it after the season starts. And last but not least, I'm going to go through the mobile app with you guys. It's super simple to use. I'll pull that up on the screen. I'll show you exactly how to click through it uh, and what your drivers can expect. And at the end, to wrap it up, I'll run through some frequently asked questions that we get uh, and hopefully clear the air on anything else. If you take a look at this demo, you like what you see, and you still have questions, you're always welcome to reach out to me. I will include my contact information at the end of this video. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you now, this is gonna be after you've logged in all of your data. So you've already added in your drivers and your sites. It's very simple to do. Um, where we come in to start having some questions is going to be how do we enter in a route? So first thing I'm gonna show you, how to build a route in Yeti. Let's check it out now. All right, let's build a route. So we're going to go over to the routes tab here. <clears throat> and this is where you're going to be able to, you know, allow yourself the ability to give each driver a specific site. So the first thing we'll do, we'll just hit create route. Um, go ahead and give it a name. Route four. Uh, you've got some options here for some notes, some optional information. You've got the contractors here. So this is my account. This is where the name of your company will appear. So if you assign a route specifically to your company, the only people who will be getting this route are people within your company. Now, if you want specific people within your company to get this route, you can click here and you can select a specific operator. However, if you're okay with everyone being assigned this, this route that you're making, uh, just leave the name of your company in. You can then select subcontractors if you'd like to do that. I'm not going to for this sake, but the option and the functionality is there. The last thing you're going to need to do when you're setting up a route is you'll need to um, select some sites here. So I'll hit select sites. You can go to unrouted. That's a great tool if you're trying to figure out on the tail end of route scheduling if you left anything out. But for this demo here, I will go ahead and just select um, four locations. Hit done. And then this displays the route for me. So I can have a look here, see if this all looks good. Um, I think it looks fine. So I can hit the optimize button here. This is gonna be basically give me the fastest route or the fastest uh, trajectory through that route. We also have some sidewalks area here, uh, total parking lot area here. So that'll all be available when you're building your route as well. When you're finished doing this, you got a 95 minute drive time. That might be a little lengthy, but that's okay. Um, when you're finished here, all you have to do then is hit save then you're done. You've got a route that you can now assign to your employees or to your subcontractors. So it's that easy. I mean, you put a route together very quickly and then you can either keep that route in Yeti forever if you'd like to, or you can change it, adjust it throughout the season. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is the dispatch screen. Now, again, this is where you'll be able to see where your drivers are. Every single one of them will be in this dispatch screen. They will live there during an event. All right, let's imagine you're right in the middle of a winter event. You need to figure out where your crews are and what they're doing and what they've finished already. So we're going to go over here to the dispatch screen. The dispatch screen is where you're going to be able to see everything that's going on as it's happening. Um, you're going to have everybody who's currently working will be listed right here. Uh, let's just click on one of these, for instance. So if I, I can see that Bia Hanna is working on this particular route, I can see that she has completed one site. So it'll say this bar will creep along as work is being completed. And then you'll also have one of six here. Now, if you want to see the actual sites that have been completed, you can click on this route. And this will bring down all of these sites that have been done. Like I said, she's only completed one so far. So it's Stanley Park. Um, you can check the before and after photos on here. If you want to click on those and then go through, you can do that. You can see what has been done. So sidewalk shovel is what she's completed. Uh, you can see the equipment that they're using. You can see how long it took. So you'll have the timestamp, you'll have the geofence. You can either approve or reject this site from here. 
You can also edit it if you know that someone has made a mistake. Now let's take a closer look at the maps because this is really interesting as well. If I pop this map out right here, I'll be able to see exactly where Bia has been this whole time. It'll have a breadcrumb trail. So this is her route. These are all the sites. This is a larger than typical geofence, but you get the idea. So if I scroll in, I can see the breadcrumb trail. I can see where the person physically is located. And I'll also be able to see the additional sites on the route. So that's a look at the dispatch screen. This is where you'll go to see what your operators are doing when they're in the field. You'll be able to see where they're at. You'll be able to see the activities that they've completed while they're on each route. That was the dispatch screen, an incredibly handy tool while your crews are operating. Next, I'm gonna talk about the mobile app. This is what your crews will be using while they're in the field. So let's go ahead and check that out. Let's talk about the mobile app. So the mobile app, the Yeti mobile app is extremely valuable if your operators currently hate using the app that you have them using or maybe they just don't like the software in general. Maybe they don't like apps in general. I've had guys before, I've heard them say stuff like, I'm here to operate a plow, not an app. I get it. But we try to keep this as simple to use as possible. So I'm gonna get started. On the right-hand side over here, you're going to see, this is an actual screen recording of my phone that I'll be using to show you how this app works. So right when I open the app, this is what you see if you're already logged in. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit Start Shift. Once I hit start shift, it's going to give me some options of equipment that I would like to use. I'm going to go ahead and continue to use the F550. I'll just hit next there. It's going to give me a list of routes. So I've got demo route, demo route number two, North Chilliwack, South Chilliwack. For this purpose, I'm just going to hit demo route. And then it's going to pull up the sites on that route along with the estimated hours if you decided to put in estimated hours when you were building your route. So I will hit start route now. It's going to bring up those list of sites on that route. So the first one, Better Elementary School, I will hit the name of the school on there. It's gonna go ahead and give me the list of information that I had entered in for that site. So you'll see, I've got some site notes on here. Below it, I have an overhead push map. So if I click on that map, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it, you can actually see the push maps that you give your, your operators. So they'll be able to look at these before they even start a site. We'll close out this push map and I'm just gonna hit start site. So all the while, you'll be able to see this information over here on the screen. This is how long I've been on shift. If I pull this down, you'll be able to see how long I've been on this site. So that's 11 seconds so far. The first thing I'll do on here, I can enter in the weather. We'll say, we'll be honest, we'll say clear. You can enter in ground conditions. We'll say dry and temperature you can enter in temperature there's some functionality to where it actually will enter that in for you automatically so first thing we'll do we'll take a before photo here i'm just going to take i've got a cup of water sitting right here take a photo of that and immediately once i hit use photo you'll see this photo show up in the dispatch screen so this is coming in in real time you'll be able to see these pictures instantly the next thing that i'll have to do after i finish now you can Enter in up to 20 before and after photos when you're using Yeti. So don't worry about any kind of time or any kind of photo limit there. The next thing I'll do, I'll take an after photo. I'm just going to go ahead and move this cup out of the way. We cleared the tabletop. And then I will have to enter in the services. So you'll see down here, services on my mobile app. I'll just open those. And these are all the available services that I have. I'll just do site observation for this purpose. I'll hit done. And then after that, I'll hit end site. Now I can continue to go on and finish the, re the remaining sites on this route. I'm not going to do that for this purpose. It will take too long. So all I'm going to do is hit then end route. Do I want to hit? Yes, I sure do want to end this route and then end shift. And then I can either enter in a shift note or I can just hit yes. I'm going to end the shift. That was the mobile app, like I said, very easy to use and a very high adoption rate, which is super important, as you know. So let's jump into some uh, FAQs here. So number one, are you integrated with QuickBooks? Yes. So we will sync in your customer data, your subcontractor data. Um, let's see, user time activity, all of that will go into QuickBooks from Yeti if you're currently using QuickBooks. What kind of reports do I get with Yeti? So we provide a detailed service history report. We provide a detailed route history report, which will have all of your generated GPS data on it. I provide a billing report, and we also provide timesheet reports so you can go back and see how long each employee worked during a shift. Pricing question. So 
you can go back and go to the pricing tab because we do have a few different package options. Um, but the short of it is we do have plans that start at $35 a month. Thanks a lot, guys, for joining me. We really appreciate you taking some time to check out Yeti. If you do still have questions or if there's anything that you'd like me to expand on, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, we hope to hear from you this winter. Take care.